Pfizer, as one of the world's largest biopharmaceutical companies, has a number of challenges competing in a fiercely innovative ecosystem. We have startups innovating all the time, developing new technologies and new ways of delivering healthcare to patients. And Pfizer not only has to lead and support, but navigate a complex regulatory system. So we have to support innovation in safe, effective ways, delivering value to payers and public who can all be different. They can have different interests. And so we need to bring together this, together with regulation, in innovative new ways to get the best medicines and healthcare to patients. The global population is aging, payers are running out of money, and everybody is expecting more from health systems. So the NHS has identified challenges around access for patients to healthcare, finance for healthcare systems, and quality and safety, delivering healthcare that's safe and of value for money for the payer. Startups trying to tackle innovation in the UK face challenges moving from their sponsors and champions in their local setting to their second, third and fourth contract. The NHS in the UK and the health system more broadly is very fragmented, both informally and formally. So the Pfizer Healthcare Hub London was developed with patients at the core of everything we do. By keeping them centre, we can then address a number of the issues that the payers and patients were facing, improving access, quality, safety. To make sure they stayed at the core from the outset, we worked with partners across the ecosystem, customers and advisors to customers, as well as colleagues from across our business, to bring them together to judge the applications to the startup hub. Through that process, the patients and the providers were in the room throughout, and their voice could be heard evaluating the applications and picking out those with the biggest impact that we thought our customers would be able to adopt. In digital healthcare, there are a number of trends right now that are capturing journalists' imaginations, but the ones that are really hitting patients already and transforming lives are the ones around artificial intelligence. We've seen the National Health Service in the UK already collaborating with AI providers to give patients better access to healthcare and to improve the quality of that care. Uh, I think it's a space that's developing really quickly and we're likely to see it influencing personalised healthcare in the near future. The first recommendation would be that when big corporates partner with early stage high growth companies, both sides are clear and open with their resources and their limitations. It's very easy for a big corporation to assume early stage companies know the regulatory environment they work in and can cope with that burden. It's very easy for early stage companies to assume a big corporate has endless resources to throw at their challenge. If everybody's aligned and shares their information and, and assumptions early, the collaboration works much better. The second key point that I'd encourage all startups and uh, high growth companies to consider is when they're working with a corporation around an innovative product, what their expectations are. Are they looking at the collaboration as a source of revenue? Do they hope their services will be procured? Or are they looking for that engagement to live a value through expertise, knowledge, relationships. There's a huge amount big corporations can offer high growth early stage companies if they ask for it, but they have to know what they're looking for from working together. And finally, a key takeaway for anybody working in innovation, looking at digital as an opportunity, is to be mindful that digital delivers huge value in terms of efficiency, in terms of powerful insights. However, Digital requires human behaviours, requires human change. People have to action the insights delivered by big data through AI. People have to change the way they care for themselves, the way they take their medicines, the way they look after other people, if the digital technology, if the digital innovation is to deliver the true value that it offers. <laughs>